Hi, welcome to Custom Shakers. I want to show you a variety of different shakers that I use behind the bar these days, including uh, very new uh, shakers uh, based on uh, 30s designs and some of the actual shaker tins that are used today as well as the old classic shakers. So let's start off at the very front. Uh, custom shakers that are made today based on a 30s design. This is 18H steel. These are bullet cocktail shakers and they're really wonderful. The shell just comes right off and you have this 16 ounce model comes off like that cap comes off like that and the strain is right in the dead center. Now these two shakers get the drinks really really cold. You keep the shell off when you're making the drink and you simply whip it around like this and I'll be showing you this method when I make some of the drinks in the series of course. Now this is a really wonderful shaker. Now its larger version is the 28 ounce bullet shaker here. Same exact design. Now one quick thing I wanted to show you with the top of the shell. These normally aren't used for anything except for the wonderful look that it creates. But I've found another way that I could use the top of that shell. And when you're making a shooter or making a martini cocktail, say, in just a simple small uh, mar martini tin, um, you can put this shell over the top of it and it fits just like a, a glass mixing cup would in the larger strainer. And you can make a shooter and just whap it around like this and it gets it really, really cold as well. And then you simply strain it without using a strainer and just have it have the liquid fall right out into the glass. Or, of course, you can take that out and use the strainer as well. Either way. Okay, let's start off with one of the classics here. I recently acquired this a couple months back. This is a 15-inch uh, tall Manhattan glass skyscraper. Really wonderful shaker. Got a nice heavy glass bottom to it. Pretty strong through the center, of course. And, of course, the cap for releasing and pouring the ingredients. It just comes right out of there. And this holds uh, quite a few drinks as far as martinis are concerned. You probably get a good uh, four to six out of, out of this, depending on the size of the martini glass you're using. Okay, these two in back um, are 1935s. Really heavy, hard glass, difficult to break. Simply unscrews the cap. The strainer is right there. And I'll also show you that this simply pops off like that. Same exact method for this. Something very cool about this design they thought of in 1935 is there's a recipe dial for about six different recipes all around the top of this cap where you have the name of the cocktail right here and then you have the following recipe for that cocktail right there. I just want to bring this to the forefront. It's a really wonderful condition antique cocktail shaker. I believe this was um, 1937. Okay, we're moving over to what's known as the thirst extinguisher cocktail shaker. I believe this year of antique was 1942 it was made. Really wonderful. It's a great heavy top to it based on the design of the fire extinguisher, as you can tell. And it has a front exit port for the liquid, just like that. This is MJ Coffin Center Staff 1939. I found this on a, one of the last of antique stores I was in in Oregon a couple of years back and was lucky enough to locate this in really, really wonderful condition. And the center staff just unscrews here. Also, one slick thing about the designer of this is when this top comes off, you can simply use the old classic strainer, so you have two different ways of pouring. You can pour through here through the center staff, or you could pour through here and pour like that. This strainer, Hawthorne strainer, fits exactly perfect for the very top of that. This is a 1947 Empson Machine Age cocktail shaker. Light design. Really wonderful, has the turning knob to pour, just like that. 
Really wonderful design. I really love this shaker a great deal. It's ribbed, as you can tell. Pretty decent shape for being around 55 years. Short-sized glass shaker. This is uh, early 60s. Uh, it's like a Paris shaker uh, with Eiffel Tower. I picked this one up because it's rare to get these pastel colors, to, to find one with the pastel colors these days. Usually the color, colors of shakers like this are much more brighter. I really... Uh, Really enjoyed the look of this one, so I went ahead and, uh, and purchased that one as well when I had the chance. Okay, I wanted to show you something with the uh, staff 1939. I found this on a, one of the last of antique stores I was in in Oregon a couple of years back and was lucky enough to locate this in really, really wonderful condition. And the center staff just unscrews here. Also, one slick thing about the designer of this is when this top comes off, you can simply use the old classic strainer, so you have two different ways of pouring. You can pour through here, through the center staff, or you could pour through here and pour like that. This strainer, Hawthorne strainer, fits exactly perfect for the very top of that. This is a 1947 Empson Machine Age cocktail shaker. Light design, really wonderful, has the turning knob to pour. Just like that. Really wonderful design. I really love this shaker a great deal. It's ribbed, as you can tell. Pretty decent shape for being around 55 years. Short-sized glass shaker. This is uh, early 60s. Uh, it's like a Paris shaker uh, with Eiffel Tower. I picked this one up because it's rare to get these pastel colors, to, to find one with the pastel colors these days. Usually the color, colors of shakers like this are much more brighter. I really, uh, really enjoyed the look of this one, so I went ahead and, uh, and purchased that one as well when I had the chance. Okay, I wanted to show you something with the uh, basic shaker tins of today. They come in actually three different sizes. I think they actually make one a little smaller than this. This one's more of uh, a use for a quick martini. Something about that size for if you're making just one martini cocktail or one shooter cocktail for that matter. So that works really well. This is a standard shaker tin, of course. Really wonderful condition here. And the strainer that goes and fits in here perfectly. I want to show you something that not too many people are quite aware of, of what a Boston shaker means. There's not an actual piece of barware called a Boston shaker. What a Boston shaker is, is when you put the mixing cup and the shaker tin together, that's what's called a Boston shaker. And then you use it and go back and forth. Okay. So um, enjoy the look that I'm creating with all these different shakers, and uh, I'm looking forward to using these.